Hey guys, Raphael here today, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make banner ad in um, Android Studio using AdMob. So, I'm going to be simply using a Hello um, World app, and we don't have to really do anything, but all we need to do is change our constraint layout to relative layout, just like that. And the text view, I'm simply going to center it in the middle of the screen. And I'm just gonna simply leave it as it says. So it will say hello world and we're gonna have an ad banner ad pop in the top of the screen. Um to to get it, just type in Android ad mob in Google and click the very first link you see. We're gonna import our SDK by copying and pasting this right here. Go to Gradle scripts on the very left, and we're gonna go to the first one that says build.gradle and underneath underneath all projects go under jcenter and paste that right in and we're gonna go to module colon app build.gradle the second one and we're gonna copy and paste this next one over here it's underneath the other one that we copied earlier so in dependencies copy and paste that just underneath the rest of the lines and we are going to sync um, our project by um, pressing sync now. So it will say Gradle project sync in progress because we have edited our Gradle files. So simply wait for the process to complete before moving on to the next step. And as you see, it says build completed successfully. So now we can go over to our XML file. Uh, we are gonna copy and paste I will leave this in the description below, by the way, this um, add view over here, and paste it right underneath your text view. Now, you can also move the banner ad to the bottom if you wish, like what I'm doing right now. Uh, before I do anything, let me change the color to black, because I think it'd be easier to see once I do so. So let me change the color of the text to white as well. Okay, so the banner ad, I personally prefer it to be on the top. So I'm going to do align parent top equals true. Just like that. So that's, um, that's our um, interface set up. We can now head over to our main activity dot, dot Java, which is on the fourth option on the very top. And here we're going to import um, a few things. So we're going to do import com dot google dot android dot gms dot ads dot mobile ads and end up with a semicolon and we're going to do the same thing this time for ad request let me get that ready all right ad request and then lastly for ad view com dot google dot android dot gms dot ads dot ad view Okay, now as you notice, these three lines are gray, but um, once we type in private add view just underneath, you can see that it no longer is grayed out because it is finally being put to use. So we call our add view M add view, and um, we're gonna copy and paste on the third our third one, which is going to be basically um, initializing our ads, and we're gonna be also needing an add unit ID as well which I will get to in a minute so underneath our um let me yeah underneath our set content view paste that in and for the add mob app ID simply go to test ads and we are going to go find add format and it says banner ad we are going to copy and paste the very first um, one underneath sample add unit ID the rest of those are for um, other um, type of ads, ad formats, so copy that and that is basically our test ID. Um, if you're to submit your app to the App Store, you will need a real unit ID, which I will show you. You can set up by typing AdMob and clicking the first link. If you have a um, account, a Gmail account, Google account, you can do that quite easily. I'll save that for another tutorial later on. But for this, we're gonna be using a test ID for now. Okay, so now that we've got that set up, we're gonna do 
m add view equals find view by id r dot id dot add view now i called my add view as add view so lowercase a and capital v it is case sensitive so you need to make sure all of that is precise or else it will not work and it will throw you an error now add request space add request equals new space add request dot builder oop, dot builder and we're gonna do two brackets dot build and then close bracket and then semicolon as always and we're gonna load the add so add request and basically that is finished so we're going to test it out in our Android emulator now this can take a while to load so I can I might have to pause the video just so this doesn't get too long so I'm gonna be using the pixel 2 for this so as I said before the Android emulator can take a bit to load now let me just see if it, if I'm lucky today so loading state all right so it can take a bit so I'm gonna pause I'll probably need to pause for a minute yeah that's taking a bit of a while so just just um, be patient um, okay so it has finally loaded and we have our hello world application and if you look at the very top you can see we have a test ad which means we are successful in implementing implementing it in our application so that's basically yeah that's basically how you add a banner ad in Android Studio um, I will do the full screen ads later on um, I just need to add in one last thing in an Android manifest so we're gonna be um basically adding in a permission to access the internet and we're gonna be closing that with users permission not really anything major just I'm just gonna add this in our manifest file so <laughs> this one here will be access network state and then again uses permission alright so that's how you add a banner ad thank you for watching if this video helped you out hit like and hit subscribe